when it comes to couponing, organization is pretty important. You spend a lot of time getting coupons and finding deals that you wanna make sure that all your coupons are in a good spot so that when you're ready to grab them for a deal, you know exactly where they are. We are going to be taking a look at a few of the ways I organize my coupons and a few of the ways I have toyed with over the past seven years. Choose which way works best for you. Whichever way you do it is fine. I will also be showing you the pros and the cons of each method and how to upkeep and stay organized with each method. The most common method for a coupon organization is the binder method. It is a three ring binder filled with baseball card holders or coupon holder sleeves. It is typically divided into different categories. When you clip your coupons, you put each coupon into the category it belongs in. Then when you need a coupon, you just go to that spot in your binder and grab it. All of your coupons are in one place and ready to use. The pro of this method is that you will very easily be able to find each coupon that you need when you need it for a deal. The con of this method is that you could very easily spend hours clipping and organizing coupons depending on how many inserts you get and how many inserts actually come in the paper that week. So the upkeep for this is pretty simple. Every week before you put your new coupons in, just go through and toss out all the expired coupons from your binder. Therefore, all your coupons that are actually in your binder are good and valid. Our next method is the folder or whole insert method. The folder method is pretty simple. You take pocket folders or manila folders, Label the folder with the date on it and place your inserts for that week in the folder. Then when you are ready to get a particular coupon, you just go in that particular folder that that coupon is in, pull the coupon that you need and cut it as you go along. Coupon databases will help you figure out which day a particular coupon came out on. Therefore, you can just go back to that folder pull out that insert and find the specific coupon you are looking for. So the pro of this method is you really do not need to clip any coupons right away. You just get the insert on Sunday, stick it in your folder and leave it there until you need a coupon out of that insert. Sometimes when people share deals, you may not know right away which coupon insert that coupon came from. And honestly, unless they use this method, they probably do not know either. But you can search the coupon database to find out exactly which insert a particular coupon came out of. But this also requires time. So the upkeep for this method is pretty simple. There are websites that will tell you which inserts have expired completely. That means that at a certain date, every coupon in that insert has expired. After that date, you can recycle the inserts and reuse that folder. I have a link in the description for a website that does exactly that. Our last method is the mini photo album method. This is the method that I've used for the past three years. It's cheap and easy. It mimics the binder method, but smaller. Basically, you use mini photo albums to organize your coupons. I use one mini album per category. So one for food, one for health and beauty. I clip my coupons and then put them in the organizer that they belong in per category. The pro to this method is that these little mini photo albums are small enough to keep in your purse so that every time you go to the store, if you want, you have your coupons with you so you never miss a deal. Well, the cons of this method are just like the binder method. Clipping and organizing could take time. Also, if you have a lot of coupons and get a lot of inserts, you may need more mini albums. The upkeep to this method is very similar to the binder method. Every week you would go through and just remove your expired coupons and put in your new valid coupons. 
This method very much mimics the binder method. Only difference is this is smaller. These are smaller and you can carry them in your purse with ease. And you don't have to worry about carrying a big old binder around. That's basically it. So this is the point in the video where I asked you to subscribe to my channel. It is completely free. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any comments, leave them below. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye.